And hi everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, so I wanted to run through the updates, uh, what we include in the release 0.10. Uh, so some of you may have seen it from the previous uh, release video that we had, uh, but I wanted to go again on some of the great features that we delivered in this version. So starting, there we go, starting through the, the main features for adding to our cloud connectors that we now support. Uh, so we've added the AWS IoT support, which is a great adding to the additional Azure Comelocity and now AWS. Uh, so continuing the journey there for being cloud agnostic. And then we had a great contribution by an external contributor this time to add child device support for Azure IoT. So that's great to see that everyone's getting a bit more involved and also contributing to the Rust project directly um, which enables us to then scale out in the future. Then we have some great community uh, features regarding Comelocity. Uh, so we've added the firmware management support for child devices, which allows you to then manage all of the firmware running on the child devices. And we do all of the complicated stuff like downloads and all that, and we'll have a demo on that later. Then we introduced the software monitoring feature where you can then uh, show the running state of each of the services uh, and that will also be presented in the containerization demo later on and we'll have the demo on the remote cloud access or so the cloud remote access feature uh, where it allows you to better troubleshoot your iot devices uh, securely from the cloud then as we kind of develop through the project we also have a lot of kind of general improvements um, so we have a few kind of configuration improvements where we allow kind of the configuration of external uh, MQT brokers now um, and also the um, upcoming containerization preparation uh, that we are able to set all of the configuration through environment variables. And we also have an official APT repository, so you can install all of the Tedge components via a standard APT get install. So maybe just to dive down a little bit on the containerization preparation, because um, it's quite a important and a kind of a common asked for feature. Uh, so the containerization, we have a bit of prep work that to better support running the edge in containers. Um, so the number one setting or number one kind of feature that is great to support is being able to set all of the Tetch TOML settings via environment variables. So that means you no longer need to then manually create uh, TOML files inside your container, and you can also then set the container settings at runtime. So when you spawn the container, um, which is very, very convenient, and then you allow the users to also customize their environment uh, to suit their needs. Um, and then in addition with the uh, non-local host, um, uh, sorry, with the MQT client support, uh, now each of the TEDG components can connect to an MQT broker, which isn't running on the local host. So previously this was a little bit cumbersome to uh, configure, but now we've kind of decoupled it from the, like the hosting of the MQT broker and the client connections. So now it's very, very simple to then run the MQC broker in a different container and then communicate it through the DNS name, for example. Uh, so that's all very convenient now to then use. So you should be then set up for when we introduce in the future, have our own container, which is running then Finage, and you can easily pull it into your different projects. Then this shows the APT repository. So with the very generous contribution from CloudSmith, um, which provide the free OSS hosting, um, you can now download all of the packages from the APT repository. Uh, you can even browse through the link so you can kind of um, see what's there, see what kind of um, the development versions that we have or the official versions. Uh, so it's all available there uh, for use. And you can also then pull it in from, so create your own meta packages maybe in Debian uh, and then link into the thin edge packages, um, which makes it more convenient to then install your dependencies for your project because you can have um, take advantage of the Debian package management and the dependency management, which you get by default. So those are the main um, highlights from it. 
Um, so like always, you can always just check out the, the GitHub repository and also the release notes for the full uh, details of what changed. And you can also see what we're kind of uh, cooking up uh, for the next release. So thanks and back to you, Phil.